the Vivo X80 Pro was a fan favorite camera smartphone of the previous year. And now with the release of X90 Pro, many users including me are very excited to see what this device has to offer. The smartphone also boosts a 1 inch camera sensor. The X90 Pro also impresses in other areas, featuring the latest chipset and a comfortable leather finish, as well as fast charging capabilities and the top of the line display. So in today's video, I will give my comprehensive review of the Vivo X90 Pro and watch till the end because it has some extreme hardware. So please take a moment to sit back, relax and enjoy the review. The Vivo X90 Pro display is a notable feature. The phone boosts a 6.78 inches AMOLED panel with curved edges that makes it comfortable to hold. The resolution of 1260 by 2800 is more than sufficient, although it falls short of the last year Vivo X80 Pro Quad HD Plus display, which is also offered by some of the Vivo X90 Pro's competitors. The 120Hz refresh of the smartphone is respectable, but it will have been more preferred if Vivo had opted for a more modern LTP O3 display with fully dynamic refresh rate ranging from 1 to 120Hz. Such a display will have enabled the phone to save battery when refresh rate isn't necessary. The phone also has a peak brightness of 1300 nits, which is decent, although other phones such as Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra offer slightly better brightness, making them more suitable for outdoor and direct sunlight. There are minor criticisms, but the Vivo X90 Pro's display is still better. The display is vibrant, bright and visually appealing, and it supports HDR10 Plus for compatible content. If you are not a screen specification expert, you will find a lot to appreciate here. The Vivo X90 Pro is the world's first smartphone to feature Dimensity 9200 processor and it impresses right off the gate. Its day-to-day -day performance is snappy, fluid and responsive and you can play games and make some graphics without the device overheating. While the benchmark scores are slightly lower compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the difference is negligible in practical terms. The Vivo X90 Pro is so fast and fluid that it's hard to notice any difference in day-to-day -day usage. It is worth noting that the battery life isn't quite good as, as long as phone powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, but it still lasts throughout the day and beyond. However, it is hard to say how much of this really matters. The X90 Pro is so exceptionally fast and fluid that you would be hard pressed to notice any lags or stutters. Only serious mobile gamers can slightly appreciate the Qualcomm Snapdragon Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor capabilities, but for everyone else, X90 Pro offers more than enough responsiveness and speed. The Vivo X90 Pro is available in two RAM and two storage options. The RAM option includes 8GB and 12GB, and the RAM is based on a quad-channel LPDDR5X technology with a memory frequency of 8533MHz, which is the world's fastest RAM, and the storage options are 256GB and 512GB, and the storage is based on UFS 4.0 for lightning fast read and write speeds. The Vivo X90 Pro is equipped with the FunTouch OS, which is based on an Android 13 operating system. The FunTouch OS has an unfortunate name and is still the company's international offering. However, in China, Vivo ships a different skin called Origin OS. Despite some variations, the FunTouch OS remains a frustrating experience for many users. Global version of this phone comes with an extreme amount of bloatware, much of which cannot be uninstalled. However, the official UK and European models have less bloatware compared to the global version, which is either good or bad. The Vivo Boost, a 4870mAh battery. With such a sizable battery, the phone can easily last full day and even more. Moreover, the included 120W of fast charging is still among the best. You can charge 70% with just 15 minutes with the fast charging enabled. So the Vivo X90 Pro has triple camera setup on the back, consisting of 50.3 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. And all of the three camera sensors are pretty good. The Vivo X90 Pro excels in camera capabilities, offering a natural and subtle HDR effect on photos that stands out from the most exaggerated HDR photos found in the flagship smartphone. The primary camera has a 50.3 megapixel resolution, which utilizes the Sony IMX989 sensor. This camera sensor is coupled with a 23mm lens with an aperture of f1.8. The sensor also features dual pixel autofocus, which is a great feature for this camera sensor. The primary camera sensor of the Vivo X90 Pro takes some of the best shots I've ever seen in smartphones. They have wide dynamic range, low noise, and great details. However, in low light conditions, that's where the 1-inch type sensor 
really shines in. You will find plenty of details with low noise and with a good color saturation. Also, the HDR mode of the primary camera is truly impressive with good highlights and control exposures. Other 50 megapixel telephoto lens is no exception for portrait photography because it takes one of the best portraits that I've ever seen. The telephoto camera sensor is coupled with a 50 millimeter lens with an aperture of f1.6 that I've never seen in a smartphone for a telephoto camera. So that means you will get a natural bokeh effect in photos and a wider aperture means a great low light performance in portrait photography. I mean, the main camera sensor has a f1.8 aperture and this telephoto camera has f1.6 aperture. This telephoto camera sensor utilizes the Sony Amix 758 camera sensor, which is widely recognized as one of the best for this class. The ultra wide camera sensor utilizes the Sony Amix 663 sensor, which is a little old for this smartphone. The ultra wide camera of this Vivo X90 Pro also take one of the best shots in daytime conditions. But the ultra wide sensor is coupled with a 16 mm lens with an aperture of f2.0. The light will hit the sensor more widely, which means better image quality with high dynamic range and true to life colors. In terms of video recording capabilities of the Vivo X90 Pro includes 8K at 24 frames per second, 4K at 30 and 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30, 60, 120 frames per second. And if you want to record slow motion footage, this smartphone can record 1080p videos at 960 frames per second, which is mind blowing. The Vivo X90 Pro has a 32 megapixel front facing camera that takes good shot in daytime but maybe suffer a little bit in low light conditions because of its aperture. But in real light environments, you will see vibrant photos with good color contrast and with a wide dynamic range. The selfie camera of the smartphone is coupled with a 24 mm lens with an aperture of f2.5 and because of that aperture, the low light performance of the smartphone selfie camera is very limited. Although you can record selfies at 4K at 30 frames per second, which is a really great feature. Despite the Xiaomi 13 Ultra only record selfie videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The Vivo X90 Pro comes with a 5G support, as well as the latest Bluetooth version of 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6. It is worth noting that the device does not support the latest Wi-Fi 7. However, this is likely to be an issue for most users as the router may not support the new standard of the Wi-Fi 7. The Vivo X90 Pro also support dual SIM functionality with both our 5G radius. So that means user can take the full advantage of the faster 5G network. The Vivo X90 Pro comes with the dual stereo speakers that supports Dolby Atmos technology. The stereo speakers of the Vivo X90 Pro are adequate, but not particularly impressive. They perform decently when playing music or making calls on speaker phone, but they have some notable limitations. While phone speakers are not a major concern for most users, it is worth noting that the X90 Pro speakers are fairly standard and not exceptionally well performed. The design of the Vivo X90 Pro is truly focusing on photography. With the larger circular camera arrays and the DSLR inspired wiggle leather finish on the back. In fact, Vivo has even printed the word professional photography along the top panel, further emphasizing its focus on camera capabilities. The camera array has Zeiss t coated gloss finish on the back, similar to the high-end camera lenses from Sony. And the partnership with ZS is advertised with their logo next to the cameras. The X90 Pro comes with the two color options, black and red. If you ask me, my personal favorite color is black as you know it. The Vivo X90 Pro is a powerful flagship device, boosting impressive specs and one of the most amazing camera smartphones available in the market. However, like any phone, it does have some compromises. While the display, chipset and software experience are all good, they are not necessarily the best available in the market. The real standard feature of the Vivo X90 Pro is its camera. In this aspect, the X90 Pro is almost unrivaled, especially with its brilliant main camera that is undoubtedly at the top of its game. However, the lack of periscope lens means that it lacks the versatility of its some competitors, such as Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and a Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Despite this, the camera is still highly impressive and one of the phone's strongest selling points. So yeah, that was my full review of the Vivo X90 Pro. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from our channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Your feedback is always appreciated. It motivates me to make more valuable content for you guys. So my name is Samza, this is Hedge Tech and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the review of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.